Hey everyone, in this week's video, we will be creating the environment of outer space inside a jar, inside your very own home. At least that's what the product we're reviewing this week says we can do. This week we'll be reviewing the incredible vacuum chamber. It says you can pump out the atmosphere and you will be amazed. It says so on the box. More importantly, it advertises over 20 different experiments, including blowing up a balloon inside the chamber, making marshmallows expand. It also says you can make water boil at room temperature and discover how it works. But interestingly enough, we all know that objects accelerate towards Earth at the same speed. But because of air resistance, obviously the heavier magnet that I have inside the jars is going to hit the table first. However, if this product does what it says it can do and actually remove all of the air inside the chamber, then in theory, the feather and the magnet should hit at the same time. Does it work? We're going to find out and we're going to save that little demonstration to the end of the video. Inside the kit is everything you're going to need. You don't need to go out and get additional batteries or other science materials. The kit comes with a base, two latex balloons, check valves, beakers, pipettes, a bell jar, a base plate, and a few other items for various experiments. As you open up the kit, you're going to see everything is nicely laid out. And here we have our instruction manual. I bought this kit for $19.99, but at the time I made this video on Amazon, it's currently listed for $17.99. It's advertises for ages eight and up, but I will tell you my son who was six did just fine and really enjoyed the experiments. The box comes with a STEM educational logo and clearly states it has lessons for chemistry and physics that you'll be able to do with your kids at home. The process of setting up the vacuum chamber is incredibly simple. It's very quick and you can essentially go from opening the box to doing your first experiment with your kids in just a matter of minutes. The first experiment is a real basic one and just gets the concept of what a vacuum chamber actually is. And it demonstrates this just by the concept of negative pressure by you being unable to remove the jar once you've sucked all the air pressure molecules out. The vacuum chamber works by basically having you suck out using the syringe all of the air inside the chamber. There's a two-way valve in the piping system, so when you pull on the syringe plunger, air is removed from the tube. When you push the plunger back in, air escapes the piping through the outlet valve instead of going back into the chamber. Repeatedly pushing and pulling on the syringe plunger slowly removes all the air from the vacuum chamber. So for the next little bit, my kids and I did the majority of the experiments that came with the kit, and these are my thoughts. There are definitely a lot of things to like about this science kit. We did most of the experiments that came with the kit. Everything from making the balloon expand to making the marshmallow expand to making room temperature water start to boil when we decrease the pressure in the vacuum. I feel there's really only one negative thing about this kit, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. As you can see here, the kit advertises 20 experiments, and while that is true, they not so subtly don't say they advertise over 20 different experiments. A lot of the experiments involved in this kit are pretty much variations of the same thing. For example, the science behind when you put the balloon in the chamber and make it expand versus when you put the marshmallow in the chamber and make it expand is pretty much the same. You're just using different materials. Some other experiments that they talk about the kit that we didn't get around to doing, really because I didn't want it to get too messy, is when the kit talked about putting other household items into the chamber to see what would happen. For example, honey or foam soap or carbonated beverages in there to see what would happen to them when you take out the atmospheric pressure. So to summarize the only negative I have about it, while it says 20 experiments are all variations of the same theme, the kit basically is a demonstration on the properties of gases and how they change when you adjust the pressure that those gases are exposed to. And I just thought about another con, even though I said there was only one, perhaps there's two. The kit doesn't really come with an assessment sheet to make sure your kids learned anything. And while this wasn't intended to be a shameless plug, we've done a lot of these experiments on previous videos when we talked about the relationship of gases like Charles Law and Boyle's Law. So one thing you can do if you're interested in getting this kit, you can go to our website and download the worksheet that we created when we were doing those videos. Everything about that worksheet corresponds to this, so they kind of go hand in hand. And I promise I was not intending to do a shameless plug when I started making this video. Okay, let's talk about all the things I like about it. The biggest and most important thing to me about products like this when I review them is, do they get the point across and are they reusable? For example, you don't wanna to have to go out and spend 10, 20, $30 to use a product once and then throw it away. That's what makes chemistry kits so difficult. Once you do the experiment and use up all the materials they provide you, you're kind of done with that kit. And if the kit's no good, it's real easy to make you think you wasted 30, 40, $50. Everything about this kit is reusable. All of the pieces are made out of hard plastic, so you also don't have to worry about your kids breaking them. Although I'm sure they can find a way. Also, another thing I liked about this kit is every experiment that we performed worked exactly like it was advertised to. Even the warm water started boiling when we lowered the pressure inside the vacuum chamber. Now, it didn't start boiling as aggressively as it did in this picture with all the steam, 
but it did start boiling. And that was pretty neat because how often can you put your finger in water that was just boiling and not burn yourself? And to get back to the demonstration that we were doing at the start of the video, does this product actually form a complete vacuum and will objects at different mass accelerate with the same velocity toward the ground? We're going back to our initial video. When I removed the magnet, you can clearly see where unlike before where the magnet and the feather fall at different rates, after I've removed the pressure, you can see the magnet and the feather both hit the ground at the same time. And that was a pretty cool demonstration to be able to show the kids. So all in all, it's not a terribly expensive kit. It's 100% reusable. All the demonstrations that we did in it it worked just like they were supposed to. If you do get the kit and you want an already made worksheet that goes along with it, you can download our worksheet on our website that pertains to our video when we cover topics just like this in a slightly different way. So that's it for this week's video as we review the vacuum chamber. If you're interested in purchasing this for your homeschool or cooperative needs, you can click on the link in the description down below. I hope you have a great day everybody and we'll see you next week.